All right, awesome. Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you're joining in from. And uh, this is the Chaos DI working group meeting. And um, also a reminder to please adhere to our code of conduct, as this meeting is a huge part of that. So um, I'm just going to share my screen now and um, we'll get started. Awesome. Okay. All right, cool. So um, the minute uh, note is in the chat, so you can just um, drop in your name and let us know your favorite childhood song. <laughs> I do not think I'd have any, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, I don't know, so there's this very weird song, it's called Joy Joy Joy, <laughs> um, by, um, Disney, um, but this, is it this, uh, Destiny uh, kid. <laughs> destiny, destiny, destiny child, right? I mean, what, what do they call it? Destiny kid. Destiny kid. <laughs> yeah, it was one of my favorite. Yeah. I did a lot of like worms, like worms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, are you saying something? Hi, Brian. You may have to mute him. Okay. I think you can. You just, it's. I miss from the game. Okay, found that. All right, awesome. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, all right, cool. Um, Okay, Ruth, you were saying you made poems out of this song. <laughs> was really nice. You know, I think mine is like poem. Like... Oh, okay, yes. Okay, cool. You could let us know which. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, so we're just going to um, go into the agenda items for today. So, um, I'm guessing, Matt, you put this here. I did. Um, hold on. Okay, so. Um, I did. So, yes. yeah, I just thought we'd take a look at some of those really fast. If you could just click on them, Merry Blessing. Mm -hmm. So, this is with respect to project badging. I just wanted to give like Enoch or Ruth any like mm -hmm. comments on any of these. Yeah, so these ones are like, like um, for example, the one with from the create uh, automation. That one is um something that you know um was supposed to do, but the one from I think the bot issues badges twice up. I was going to share it um in Chaos Africa meeting tomorrow if people want to like contribute to it but we've had someone contribute to like one of them and i think you know merge that pr okay. so like these are like these are really non-blocking kind of issues right like that things that we saw like we like for example that bot issuing twice um when the when someone has applied like for example i did that chaos community again and it worked <laughs> and it got so twice so like we need oh. to fix that I see. Uh, mm -hmm. And then updating the selected project to one click. So if you go to, if you're trying to click the project, you have to do a double click before yep. user, user wise, it won't really like people won't really think of clicking it twice and we, we think it doesn't work. So just changing it for accessibility's sake. And um, I think the other one was about like, the, um, you know, Audrain, that one was opened by uh, Marco from GitLab. Audrain, um, the the list that comes like Audrain it by I think by repos, right? I think that was. But there's more context in them. But all these issues are just like, um, you know, minor things that we saw that people can just jump on. Okay. 
So I would share it more during the Chaos Africa call for developers that are looking for things to do. Um, so they can just do them. But there was something that Enoch was working on, which uh, Enoch is here, so I won't speak for him. I think he said he was looking for testers. So maybe Enoch can speak to that. The issue with the session. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's the session yeah. session token, I think. Yeah. So maybe Eno can speak more to that. But like I know he's he said he needed people to test it out. Yeah. Um. Uh, thanks. Um. Just to say about these issues, uh, most of these issues that are opened up, I like I said the previous time, if I find that the issue is non-blocking, I really don't want to tackle it because I want to give room for the contributors in the community. Just like Ruth has said, if there is anyone else who like um, is a newcomer here or is looking for something to contribute, I want these issues to be there and as many as possible. So um, I ignore these because I feel there is someone who would come and jump on these issues. And even when you look into the other repository of the budging API there, there are like equal number of open issues. So, but none is blocking the function, the core functionality of the whole budging process. Okay. And for the issue that um, Ruth is talking about, um, <clears throat> different, um, different um, GitLab users are having different um, results depending on how they're interacting with the API. And I'm finding that fascinating. So I talked to Ruth and I was like, probably we need testers for GitLab, but of course testers like who have been using GitLab before because I've tried setting up separate accounts for GitLab, but the tests I'm getting are positive. Yet the two instances we've had for is it Daniel? No, 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 no. Um, Joe and some other person. They are really different tests and they are probably stemming from very different reasons. So um, we would want to know really um, if one person is having the issue, what are the, probably their account settings and um, what are their permissions on the repositories that they're trying to access? Because if Daniel is is accessing all the repositories and then someone else is not accessing the repositories like that, sh that there should be something that needs attention in between there that probably is a result of permissions to repositories or um, what details of their account are public or are private that's why i said we probably need testers who have been using gitlab and um like it's their platform I gotcha. So this is this the is this the session token issue? Or well, is this the, the, the session token issue was uh was fixed, but um it's part of my sorry about those notifications. Are you guys hearing any notifications? We're hearing them, but we don't care. Um <laughs> So the session token issue was fixed, um, but why I think we need the testers is um, for all the other people, me inclusive, who are testing the GitLab API and Daniel to the session issue, the, se the session token issue was not like a problem for them. So what did they do different that was not related to the session token issue. That is probably the problem for the rest of the Okay, day. so yeah. if I said in the, if I just put a note in badging right now, like in the channel, and I just tagged Daniel and Marco and said, it appears that the session token issue for, Git, is it GitLab only? Yeah, GitLab, GitLab. And is it, it's not login, is it? Is it about, um, what what's it is it associated with identifying repositories or is it associated with login? My 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 intuition here is on two issues. Um, the, the session issue is uh, just um, it helps you to stay logged in even when you refresh, uh -huh. so that you can still see the repositories without you relogging in. And the session and the and the session is like if we say the session should expire after a minute. 
if you try to refresh your tab before the minute ends, um, you could still see the repositories. But if you refresh the tab after the minute, that means the token has expired and you have to reauthenticate. Okay. So that's how the session token issue comes into the whole okay. um, authentication process. But then if someone logs in and they have all their required details, um, if they proceed to budge the repositories without ever refreshing the page, the session issue, the, the session token issue must not be a problem. The session token issue is only able to keep them in that session, even when they come back to it, as long as we set the expiry time, as long as they're still within the expiry time. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I want to I want to specifically um, shift my attention to to permissions and probably account settings for particular users, and I think it would be good for having test cases because it was good for us when Elizabeth had to make the test herself and found out that a private email is actually a problem. So oh yeah yeah I think there is also another GitLab issue that that we've not looked at and is unique for some people. Ruth is saying something. No, I just raised my hand. I was just going to add, I was going to add if the session issue is the same thing with that user not being recognized because I think someone from, no. yeah, that was another issue where someone, ha like I think from, Git not from GitLab, but has a GitLab repo, I don't know, trying to remember the name of the project. In the, um, in the email thread? Not, not yet. The email thread and even um, on the Slack chat, there was also somebody that was having issues with barging because of the email. And, and then and, 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 I, and I should say that um, I've done like 30% of the implementations that uh, concerning GitLab and Marco has done 70% of that. And I should say the 30% for my case has been like tweaking the API. Um, Marco um, has done the other technical parts of going through the documentation and like uh, looking at what endpoints are relevant to be used and place them in there. And most of my work has been like refining that. So um, I'm pretty sure that uh, probably I would trust that he has gone through the API and used the right endpoints for some of these issues related to logging in. But I would be, I am equally surprised when two users who are accessing the same platform, one is able to log in and one is not able to log in. And uh, yeah, it's the same platform and um, the same code. Mm. I'm as equally surprised. That's why I'm like, could we, can I really, can I really like have a test, a person to test that while like I am looking at what data I'm receiving on my end and then mm. probably figure out what kind of data is actually being returned or not. Yeah. So I, I think all the, the two issues kind of depend on like the testing part, like finding someone that would yeah, do yeah, the testing yeah. while working on it. I think and the best I'm referring to was Joe. And I wouldn't uh, support exactly. Daniel because Daniel, for him, yeah, uh, it's already, like his account is working. So yeah, I think probably a new person or yeah, um, I I just put be. something in the Slack channel. Okay, and I tagged. Um. Yeah, I think Marco just responded. Okay. I see that. Okay. Um, then about just remembering the email, I don't know, you know, were you able to like, because I know what we resulted to was telling them to use the self-hosted project. I don't know if they have done that. I haven't looked at that form. Yeah, my understanding of the issue was, um, was the same thing. They were not able to see, um, to, 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 to see the repositories they wanted to budge. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, their, their problem was with the login and um, the login issue also affected that affected the repositories uh, that they have access to to be budged. And um, 
I'm, I'm not sure whether they did the uh, whole process again, but it looks like in the database, they're not there. So that's another unique case. And looks like Git, GitLab is really playing us around and <laughs> they probably <laughs> need re-implementation. <laughs> But I'm so curious to have a person test this out and um, spend time with them, probably 30 minutes looking into um, how they are, how, how, how they're interacting with this whole thing and what kind of data we're receiving on our end. Mm. I think uh, Marco said Nick could help. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at his message right now. To look for testers to help out. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, but just so that we don't spend a lot of time on this issue, not because it's not important, but there are a lot of other things on the agenda. Um, probably the action points we should take right now is like looking for someone from GitLab. And then two, um, maybe um, let me text Marco also on this thread and um, just let him know if um, there is, if there is, um, if there is some documentation in the API that has different um, ways of logging in so that we can also test those other cases apart from the one he used currently. Because um, while I was going through summary implementations, I realized that uh, there is an endpoint he had used that was wrongly displaying repositories. And when I went through the documentation, I had to change that and use another endpoint. So. I'm thinking maybe also there could be other alternatives to what he previously used that may cause an, a, a change into the whole implementation. That's super helpful. Thank you, Ruth and Enoch. Yeah, but I'm done. Okay, okay. I had one other thing on there. Um, let's see. Mary Blessing, could you go back? Yeah. So the mm -hmm. link from the web page is still like if I um, if I on the web page if I point to badging. Are you sharing something? No. Okay. But like, if you go to the web page, you know how it says badging in the upper right corner. Oh, it still points to this. What I just put in the chat. Oh, I thought... so I know that we wanted it to point to badging.chaos.community. I thought Elizabeth changed it. I thought so too, but I just checked before. Yeah, uh, that's probably within um, within the confines of Kevin. Yeah, Kevin's on. Kevin, I don't know if you're able to talk or just uh, listening in. Well, I also thought um, Elizabeth and Kevin have had worked it out, but um, yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> I can't change that. <laughs> no, you can't change it. I know. Yeah, one thing is if if we have that badge in points to the new website, um, how would people what would um, that page, because that page is really important for event badging, for like people to apply for event badging, right? So would we name that page under something else pending when we have like the process for event badging here? I don't know if, if I'm saying it makes sense. So like you're talking about what we would call the link on the main chaos page? I think I... because we still need that page because people still need to apply for event badging. Oh yeah, they just get to it through here for the time being. Like what's on this? What Mary Blessing is sharing on the screen. Okay, okay so I know what Elizabeth. That page be different thing. Like, like we just name that page something else. Yeah, and they would just get to it through here. Uh, and I I am online by the way. Sorry, I was having I was having troubles <laughs> with my microphone there. No. <laughs> no problem kevin did you did you understand the issue so uh, can you re restate it yeah so mary blessing can you just go to chaos.community main page so i'm assuming you're 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 just wanting to link to the the new website from the uh yeah so yeah. over on badging 
on that right. top bar. Right now, it just links to just click on badging. Should link to the form that uh, Matt Snell had created. No, no, this should just instead of linking here. Right, that's what's there now. The yeah, form so that it Matt should, Snell it, had created. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's supposed to just point to badging.chaos.community. You know, kind of okay. that one unified page. That's all. Yeah, that's that's an easy fix. Okay. So yeah, I'm, and I'm, oh sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say that this page will still remain because, like, we have it. Yeah. Like we have this for event badge, like the process. Yeah, the page won't go anywhere. It'll just be accessed via the yeah just via the badging .chaos .community page. And I think I think I think that's what Elizabeth did. Um, we I thought she did it the other way around. So when you go like to badging.chaos.community and you go to event badging and say apply for a badge, it will bring you here. So. So I'm sorry. You, so you want when the, in the main navigation when we click on badging, you want to go to the new website. Yep. And then on the new website, when they apply for a badge, we send them back to the main website. You send them back to this page, but I think that's already set up. So yeah, uh, yeah that's already set up. Like yeah, Mary Blessing, if you go to badging.chaos.community, the the badging mm -hmm. page. Yeah, this one, right? Max? No, no, no. The badging .chaos. The one, yeah, that one. So right now, if you click on event badging at the top, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And if you click on apply for badge in the upper right corner. Yeah. It just takes you here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So like that all stays the same. It's just okay. That's that's a little weird, uh, but manageable. Uh, so that? I will I will say this. Uh, if Why you is it want weird? The, if you want the code for the forms, uh, so these forms were not built in, uh, in WordPress. So we have the code for these forms. I could share that with you, uh, and you could actually install that code on on the new website. Yeah, it's just it's weird to jump back and forth between the two websites. I, I like get that. it. We we know it's, that <laughs> it is it's manageable. It's fine. We can do it. But yeah, yeah, it's a, little, no, it's a little weird. I agree. And the intention, I think, like Kevin, the long term intention is exactly what you're suggesting. That like when you apply for a badge for an event badge, you'll just stay on that badging chaos cup community Kevin, site. Kevin, is there a way you could share the code somewhere? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're looking for it. <laughs> it's actually it's actually in GitHub. Uh, you could in the it. website repository, there's uh it's one of the uh the few pieces of code that we have in the uh, website repository on GitHub. Uh but mm -hmm. I will uh I'll double check it and make sure that those are both connected. I know at one point uh it might have it might have been updated uh, uh, yeah, and 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 I'm I'm curious to see how the code looks like and see how 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 it is to integrate how how easy is it to integrate. Yeah, let me just uh let me just send you the link to that document. Right and I'll, I'll, I'll pick it again. And I'll drop it into the uh, uh the chat. Sure. Uh, uh, but as far as as far as changing that link, mm -hmm. uh, I'm capable of doing that. If you reach out to me on Slack, just let me know. I mean, if you want me to do it now, I can. Yeah, just do it. Okay, so just put the, put the link that you want to send it to. Okay, I'll put that in, uh, in the chat, and I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah, and Ruth and Mary Blessing, I hope you're like, um, um, I hope people in the Chaos Africa community could know that the issues that are open to work on, and I've been helping out people like to navigate the issues at least um, for the times people have tagged me under those issues. So yeah. those, um, they're good to work on because they, 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 they like add on to the functionality of the whole website. And now like we are integrating the budging, the event budging also into the whole project. I'm looking at a lot of other issues coming up. Yeah, we have the meeting yeah. tomorrow. So we're just going to share it and like, like, like do that like, cool. We'll fix like good first issues, really. So, sure. yep. 
I'm waiting for Kevin to share the link and then. So it uh, looks like we had hijacked the meeting from Mary Blessing. Uh, <laughs> nah, you're good. All right, um, Matt, would that be all? So real, real quick, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt. Uh, it looks like someone item. archived, someone archived the, uh, the DI badging code. Uh, but the code is still good <laughs> there. Uh, so I just put the link into the chat. Yeah. Uh, in the app, app main is where the uh, uh, code is at. And then obviously there's some description text. Uh, so you're free to utilize any of that on the new website. I, I'll just pin this and look into it and see how to integrate this because like if if we if we eliminate the back and forth movements and someone is able to do that on the site, that is better user experience. Okay. Um, thanks everybody for the contributions so far on the DI project version. So we're just going to move on. And next on the item, the agenda item is um, DI review of the Chaos DI project version. <laughs> um, still on the project version by Roland. And um, yeah, he made a detailed review on um, this project. So I don't know, maybe we could just open this up and discuss here on the call. Um, Math, did you find time to go through this? I have not found time to go through that. I think there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's very detailed. And like, I think it's something we might need to like, every minute, like, and just like, okay. And then, because I, mm -hmm. I came through. Mm -hmm. But like um I haven't found time to like really look at it and maybe I think Matt invited um Roland to the meeting, but um it would be also nice for him to like also give some context uh as well. Um yeah. But I haven't also looked at it. Yeah. He did he mentioned he's yeah, and but, um yeah. he's like, Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say the same thing you were going to say, Matt, that he's okay. in Australia time zone. So. Which makes it hard to join this meeting. He said oh, it's like yeah, he said it's three a.m. his time or something like that right now. <laughs> Can I suggest something? Um, maybe yeah. um, maybe you could find I don't know anyone available to like maybe find a time that works for both parties and they have the call with Roland and they can come back to the DI working group meeting and like give us feedback on how that meeting went because um, the the meeting time is five um, it's five p.m. WT and um, eleven a.m. UTC right so he would never be able to make it so I don't know if that suggestion works but... yeah I mean I could reach out to him. why don't I mean one of the things I think would be helpful to in a meeting like that would be to take all of the comments that he has provided mm -hmm. and then like make a mm -hmm. table so I can see them all in a row yeah right now, mm -hmm. it's a little hard to understand true it's kind of hard to navigate through like it is there's there's many yeah and some might be easier some might be more complex and some appear to be focused on the dei.md file itself and some appear to be focused on the the like the website so we just need to separate these out, I think, first. Okay, I don't know if anyone would be willing to work with me to maybe like draw like a spreadsheet on on this, like what we just discussed. No, oh, yeah, I'd be, then, I'd be um, happy to, to help in that. All right, awesome. So I'll get in touch, Matt. Okay, great. All right, um, just going to put that down later. So yeah, he also has um, a review for the um, okay, the UK. I don't know what this is again, but um, this strategy here. I just put this in here in case anybody wants to like take a look. It's a PDF file, and you would need to like download that anyway. So just a heads up. 
uh, that you can look through that to maybe see his previous work and also like maybe compare with what he did with the project badge and DI. All right, sounds good. So um, next is, um, <laughs> I think I should be an ambassador at this point. <laughs> this is a friendly reminder for everyone um, um, giving their time, effort to the Chaos Project to please file in their contributions here on this um, GitHub repo. Yeah, if Shelly, can those, you, can um, you share the other the screen? Right, you're still showing the PDF, the oh, batching review. There you go. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, no. so this. Mm -hmm. So please file in your contributions here, um, especially for those um, that um, you know contributing to chaos um, that are not like software developers, right? So we can you know track your contributions and also like um, recognize the awesome work you're doing here at chaos. Right, so um, yeah, then on the onboarding course updates, I I don't know if there is more to this, but um, there was the um, the general community call held yesterday, and um, Yiga, who is the project manager, did mention that um, there are like um, volunteers who who had like indicated interest to work on videos for for the onboarding course. Um, just a reminder to please send in your sending your um the videos as PROs, right? And um, there was also an action item for Elizabeth to create time slots on the chaos zoom so that folks can just hop in on the on the zoom um, the conference room to like record these um videos for the onboarding course. So um I think we'll be waiting for Elizabeth um to settle in to be able to like um create this time slot for for everyone who has indicated interest. Uh, but I don't know if there are further updates on this um, from the last time we had this conversation, and Peculiar or Eager. Okay, I guess that's all. So, um, I, I mean, if there's any question from anyone, you could as well ask, and um, Peculiar or Eager will be able to take those. I I'll have, I just have one comment. It's just, it's not even on onboarding. It's about the education videos. Um, mm. I just, I think that maybe Dawn had recorded one and maybe Elizabeth, and they both just said they're not a huge amount of time to record them. So just, just so people know, like, I think the effort is not very long. Mm. Mm, okay, yeah. So yes, I think there's like a sample video. I think that's like what you just mentioned. So um, I don't know if I can get the link to uh, to just put in here so that folks can see um, what is like expected of them. And like Matt, Matt said, it's not like a lot of effort to like to work on. So um, yeah, just going to move to the next item, which is on um, the chaos accessibility updates. So, um, and this 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 was this was given on the general community call yesterday, and um, Yiga Yiga mentioned that, that there was a meeting and um, you know requirements. The, there was a meeting um, with the team handling the accessibility um, um, testing, and they kind of like Yiga and um, Victoria who are like the um, knowledge. HP's um, lead, you know, walked folks through on what is required of them to um, file in um, an accessibility audit um, um, issue. And also there is like a um, an issue template already that folks can take a look at. Then um, here is also the spreadsheet. Then the next, the next, um, the next thing is to um, train more people to do the checks, right? Like find more testers um, to do the checks for um, the both the chaos website and the DI um, badging project, right? 
and um, an an action item for Biga was to also provide um, resources on accessibility testing for everyone to to study and you know understand how to like um, make this this um, this audit. So so yeah, th these were like suggested next steps from yesterday's call as well. I just thought to like put this here in the DI working group so that um, members can be aware. Then lastly would be that um, conversations around the accessibility audits um, have been moved to the um, DI working group um, Slack channel. So um, if you have questions or just interested in conversations around accessibility audits um, here at Chaos, you can join the Slack channel and, you know, ask those questions. So um, I don't know, anyone have questions or comments on that? Mostly just thanks for all the effort on that. Yeah. Shout out to Yika and Victoria and the rest of the team. Yeah, um, I right. just have one comment. Well, yeah. Sure. Um, the, I don't know if it's even a question or a comment, but what I wanted to ask is like, um, have the audit started like for the people, um, like for Yiga and I think Yiga and uh, Victoria, I guess, are the people that are more experienced with this. Um, you know, doing the testing, so has the audit started, and are there like issues that we could look at, like people, um, people to contribute to, like have the audit started and the issues. Um, you got do you want to take that? Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. So, thank you so much. Um, yes, the audits have started, and there are issues for people to contribute to. Um, if you look at like the accessibility testing spreadsheet already, there's already like um, actual results, so that will be converted like into issues using like the form template for people to work on. So yes, there's already issues for people to contribute to, but I think that um, the tiny delay that we experienced is because we had to, because of the conversations and suggestions, we had to move it from, you know, just being a group to having its own repo and forms and stuff had to be created so that of course the contributions are out there like in the open as it should be. So, that's like the update of it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So that the issues we can find them on this spreadsheet. What um people I think if you could go back. Should I should I go back? Okay, cool. All right. Um what page? Can you... Yeah, yeah. Like I was going to ask you guys what page are the issues like. Oh no, what so the fact that you're on the iOS may blessing. Go to the first one the website so we're actually going okay. from one to the other so that it's not scattered like everywhere so mm. if you scroll yes just keep scrolling yes so okay. no 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 let's go back up yeah so all of the things that you see right from go back up please Yes, so from the operable, yeah, so from line 32, basically, the column E and F are currently issues and suggestions that need to be worked on. Right, so there's a lot I need to do. Okay, so we need to start creating. So like from this section, like for example, yeah. number one, is the home the get started button is very good yeah this this yeah so it would be to start creating like issues on their respective repositories about like this particular um review right or does this review have to go through like in another step to create the issues or is this ready now to start creating issues on those 
repositories and then start picking them up? Okay, so to answer your question, the way that it's currently made to be is, so you know that these tests were already done before the repo was made. So right now, if we're going to go with the way the form that was created, apparently the the testing, each of these tests will be put into um, the form and then it will be handed over to like the designers or the design team, stuff like that. So that's, I don't know if we're blessing can yeah, share I think, that. Yeah, I think I get you. You mean these ones were done before the repository was created? Yes. So. Um, yeah if, so what we have to do case, yeah oh okay so what i was thinking that we could do was to first create issues of these ones that have been done already so that work can already be start getting done mm -hmm. you know yeah. Them. Yes. yes exactly so instead of creating fresh issues that need accessibility testing right so instead we'll create issues first on the ones that have the ones that have already been tested like the a a level wire has been tested on and then yeah people can start working on it, the different teams and everybody can start yeah i do I agree. I do agree because there, there'll be no need replicating that on the repo so like exactly. um said from this operable like if my person could scroll down where does it end what do you what do you mean like, by where what? Does where, where did the review stop? Like, where am I looking at to start creating the issues? I, I know about that home button or the home page one. Where does it end? Oh, so for each of the, I don't know if we're blessing us call again. Sorry, we're blessing. Uh -huh. That's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. can you scroll to the first, like, column A? Like, no, 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 no. Like, to your right or to your left? No, I don't know. Yeah, then let's go back again. So the idea of this is that... Oh. Okay, um. so let me go back to that point where we, bless, where we were. The idea of that is that the 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 accessible way for things to be... No, my bless, I actually cannot see it. Like, can we please go back a little? Like, upwards. Yeah, just stay here, please. Just stay here. So the idea of it is that the what accessibility is trying to, to get done is to ensure that the contrast and all the text has a minimum contrast of 4.51, right? Yes, exactly. So that's what it is. So everything on column E is showing the places where we did not meet that, um, that check. That. Yes, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the, the column F yeah. is showing right what exactly the contrast level is and what we need to add to it, you know, based on the right, um, the right suggestion, yes, to do. So mm -hmm. the idea of this will be that for everything under this now, for example, 1.4 distinguishable contrast minimum, we create like with the form, we just create like an issue to it and link it to maybe the design repo because this is clearly like a design thing, right? So this is something that, you know, the design team has to work on or will help us work on. Mm -hmm. So we create, yeah. yes, so we create that and link it so that that way we can also tell that accessibility checks has been done for this, right, is recorded. And then also um, is linked back to you know where the checks were made and what the results were, so that things are just you know kind of like in sync. Mm. So I don't know what we all think. Yeah, I think that makes sense. But like on this number thirty two, on like is this the only one that has been done? Like, are there if you go down, are there some that have already been done on this place, like on this sheet? Like, is it There's just? There's still others. Okay. If you could just maybe comment it out and then if you tag me, I can pick up opening the issues. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to Victoria as well. Just all right. 
thank you so much, um, Ruth, for the question, and thank you, Yiga and Victoria, for the awesome work so far. Um, so, um, okay, we have the last item here on the agenda. Brian, is this is this you? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Um, Mm, okay. uh, so, I think, so I think this started from discussions in our last Chaos Africa meeting. I think it was our first Chaos Africa meeting of the year, where Ruth mentioned that we would love to have um, more persons with disability included in the Chaos Africa community and activities. So we thought of like having the having a disability inclusion and mainstreaming meeting. We are currently four of us. That is Victoria, Winfred, and I. I don't think if the Victoria and Winfred are here, but yeah. So we met, we were not able to meet this week because Winfred was not feeling well and Victoria was also not available. But we still plan time to meet this week. But you can see from the previous discussion we had, we we're just having discussions on how we can have, uh, on, on, uh, yeah, we're just having discussions on how we can have persons with disabilities our activities and also how we can make our conferences that is inclusive just in Africa uh, inclusive to persons with disabilities. During the meeting, Winfred shared the experience attending uh, different events as someone who is using uh, a mobility aid and it was really hard for her to like access the event. She was like at some point she shared like she would just sit in one room because even if she wants to go to other rooms they, they like it was just it was just stressful for them, but we want to change this experience for other folks because if that's what she experienced, and um, what if other folks with persons with disabilities that come to the event? So we are trying to have. We are trying to do an outreach program where we like reach out to persons with disabilities. So we are currently focusing on the area. We are still working on. Plans, but you can clear everything for the first quarter. Achieve have at least a first outreach program in the first quarter. We're also planning to have like so. Our other goal is to see more persons with disabilities represented in our conferences. That is like just con Africa and our events and our, in our community activities. But for them to be to be there, they need to understand what skills is and at least have maybe technical skill or an technical skill that they are contributing to South Africa. We are planning to do like um, um, we are now trying to to have a watch party for a conference that is called XCon conference. When you go to the minutes of the um, yeah, yeah yeah that conference, so XCon. So we are trying to see in the conference where we, it will be specifically targeted for persons with disabilities. We are doing the watch party. We'll have someone uh, run a workshop on teacher or train the attendees on different technical aspects, so we can at least have more folks represented, more persons with disabilities represented in our upcoming conferences and and meetups. And so we were also so I think the agenda was outreach, and then also thinking of raising awareness for persons with disabilities. So we are thinking of spotlighting persons with disabilities that we have now in the chaos in the chaos in the chaos Africa community are already doing amazing stuff. But if we don't have them, then having them on board and helping them to have food in the various activities that we do, and then let on raise awareness so that maybe by the end of this year we have more persons with disabilities. We'll start with Lagos, Nigeria. BBC moved to Nairobi, Kenya, and different parts of Africa that we visit. That is, if maybe you are going for conferences, let's say different conferences that we attend as the this team, like maybe if I'm going to PyCon Uganda or DevFest Nairobi or DevCon South Africa to get more folks into the community. So those are just the updates I have. Maybe any questions, if you want to join us, you can also like join us. Uh, drop your name. I'm not sure, but yeah, you can join us. But you can add your name in the in the in the in the, in the document, and then I can reach out to you on Slack channel. Yeah, thank you very much, Brian. Mm -hmm. Like, 
this is really good. Thank you, Sam. Continue the conversations more. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is that's is really, really awesome. Um, thank you, Brian, and um, everyone in the team. I can see some really, really amazing ideas and stuff we can do differently this year um, in Africa. Thank you so much. I don't know, anyone have any thoughts or comments on that? Um, okay. All right. So um, also, that's the last item on the agenda. So. Um, if you don't have any comments or any other thing to discuss, so uh, you can just go back to our day. Everyone, thanks everyone for joining in. Let's stop recording.